Let's talk about sectors then, because we've had yet another retailer come out this morning, Shaver Shop, yes, updating yes, the market, yes, yes. providing guidance ahead of reporting season. It follows on from, from Nick Scully. There was another one last week, mm -hmm. just slipped my mind. So if you're one of those Accent. that still has yes, cash on the sidelines, do you look to the retail space or where are you looking, Carl? Yeah, look, absolutely. I think I think you have to. And uh, yes, we talked about Accent last week. We've you know we've we've got a buy now. We've got a buy just about the the whole sector. Uh, we do have a buy on Shaver Shop, and I'm happy to hear uh, obviously that news today. I've been talking about Nick Scully for a long time. Hold on to that. Um, some things I think you can add if you don't have them. Adairs looks uh, very good to add here. Um, I'm going to look down my my list here because I can't remember them all at once. Uh, Beacon Lighting, Harvey Norman looks spectacular. I mean, it's old and it's boring but it looks really really good here obviously i mean old and boring it's not as exciting uh, as some of these other new upstarts like red bubble uh, which i think looks very very good as well um, but if we want to talk about old and boring which i think is actually my pick in that retail subsector of the consumer discretionary space is west farmers um, of course they've got bunnings and they've got office works and they do a whole heap of other things as well but from uh, from a well, look at fundamentals as well, but from a technical perspective, West Farmers is looking as good as it has ever been. And I, I think for investors maybe worried about some of these new upstarts, um, we mentioned Redbubble, and they don't want to get involved in some of these um, you know, really sharp increases. And West Farmers is one of those good old fashioned, you know, dividend paying stocks as well. Um, valuations not pushed that you can get involved in to take advantage of this consumer discretionary move also. Um, just very quickly, automotive looks pretty good as well. So Eagers, ARB, BAPCorp Super Retail, I like in that space. And I'm going to add this week uh, one called National Tire and Wheel. Um, so definitely check that one out. And uh, a couple of turnaround plays in there look very interesting. Invocare and Crown Resorts, which, huh. which we're looking to add this week as well.